a villain in Venice, Jane of the Air Book One, a steampunk detective and aviatrix, and part-time spy. Available now. All profits to the NHS. Scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about main range release number 266, released apparently in July 2020. Now this is Doctor Who Time Apart, and what it actually is, is four storming Doctor Who stories. Now as the main range or monthly range comes to a close, I know, I'm not sure I'll be able to cope without it. I can feel Big Finish going What we could do is this, or this. Why didn't we try this? It's becoming increasingly experimental. And I, for one, am very, very happy with this. Now, here's the synopsis, but I'll do each synopsis, albeit very small one, before each review, if that's all right. Separated from his companions, the Doctor attempts to find solace in the history of his favourite planet, Earth, but instead discovered new threats lying in wait. Travelling from 20th century East Berlin to 16th century Strasbourg, the Doctor encounters creatures from other realities, monsters beneath the waves, and human beings determined to exploit their fellow man. But how long can he survive without a friend? So, like I said, four stories. They all come in sort of about half an hour each. And you could argue that they'd make superior short trips. But of course they are all full cast, despite the fact that they were often recorded in a cupboard. You just can't tell. First story, Ghost Station, by Steve Lyons. Deep beneath the streets of East Berlin, Peter Meyer patrols the border of an old underground station. But when the TARDIS materialises nearby... Peter realises he's far from home. Oh, this is a cracking little story. It does have that sapphire and steely, abandoned railway station vibe, but it's also got a lot going on. As for world building, yes, it's set in our world, but it's set in a world that is, well, in the past. It's set during the split where Berlin had a wall built right down the middle, all the way down. And part of the underground track goes, loops through the other side. So the communist side is always patrolling, but there's a tiny bit of the west underneath. And eventually, of course, it'll be sealed in. But it's very, very interesting and feels tremendously real and so of its time. And yet it's a historical It just works. These are all historicals. Okay, they're pseudo-historicals. There's aliens, there's monsters, there's creatures involved. But even then, that's hardly a bad thing. I don't want to say any more than this, but it's terribly, terribly atmospheric. Small cast, perfectly executed, and just, well, a great start to a cracking little box set. It's not even a box set, it's one release. The second story is The Bridge Master by Jacqueline Rayner. Jacqueline always produces cracking stuff. Here's the synopsis. When the Doctor's shadow is sacrificed by villagers, he brushes it off his medieval superstition until he begins to grow weak. Can he uncover the truth behind the Bridge Master's curse before it's too late? Again, like the first story, you've got a lovely bit of world building, but you've also got, well, historically accurate nonsense. You've got the paranoia, the spirituality, the desperation of the Middle Ages, all brought to the fore. Yes, it's a variant on what sort of thing used to happen, but it just feels so good. 
And you can so imagine this background being used, well, for a massively great best-selling book. The next story is What Lurks Down Under by Tommy Donaband. Oh, I've not mentioned this. Tommy recently passed away, but it was one of his, well, dreams to be a big Finnish author. And they took one of his stories and turned it into this, well, great piece of art. On the waves of the Indian Ocean, all the prisoners aboard the Lady Juliana have fallen into a trance, except a single girl, Mary Wade, desperately needs a doctor. And only one will help her. It's a brilliant, brilliant atmospheric story. And, you know, you do kind of want Mary Wade to become a companion of the Doctor. Because here we have in this lovely release the fifth Doctor travelling without any of his normal companions. Pure, stripped down and working at 100%. It just functions beautifully. And yes, if this story had been on TV, it would have been potentially a bit clunky in the effects department. But because you can't see it, it flows beautifully. And the soundscaping on this, absolutely spot on. There's one tiny bit of a scene which is told from a fish's perspective. A fish in a bucket. Well, you know what? You just don't get that anywhere else. Storming. And the last one, The Dancing Plague by Kate Thorman. Not Kate Orman. Arriving in Strasbourg at the height of the Dancing Plague, the Doctor finds himself thrust into a world of paranoia. Can he bring peace to a city at odds with its own people? This one's very, very clever. I don't want to talk any more about it than that. But when you think something's going on and it twists and it turns in front of you, you can't help but be impressed. A brilliant, brilliant selection of four stories. And I know that next month's release, well, that's got two individual tales. Hopefully they lock together. And hopefully, according to the box on the front, it'll have the return of some of my favourites. But that's next time. This time, well, listen to the trailer, decide for yourself, and just enjoy. Because if you're toying with the idea of getting a release, you might as well get this one. Because if you're a big fan of The Fifth Doctor, you've got four stories for the price of one. Now that's a bargain by anybody's reckoning. So, until next time, be seeing you. Halt! Who goes there? I'd rather a friend than the alternative. Step out while I can see you. I'm the Doctor, by the way. From Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, Time Apart. A border guard patrolling the invisible line between the East and West. A line which, of course, extends beneath the ground, beneath the wall, the Berlin Wall. They sealed up the stations when they built the wall, 14 years ago. The passengers look out through their windows at these old stations, dark, forgotten, suspended in time. They call them Geisterbahnhöfen. Ghost stations. The devil whispered in my ear and I invited him in. My words that drew you across the bridge were as the kiss that set the people on our lord. It was Clement who whispered in your ear, not the devil. This man was the first to cross the bridge. He came of his own free will and innocent. He is the sacrifice that the spirits demand. Knock, knock. What? Who are you? Uh, Travelling prisons, Inspector. Probably. And this is... Uh, Mary. One of your prisons. He's turning the Then let's hope this works. Doctor, did you say you were? Ah, well, uh, rather like Erasmus, actually. A sort of master of all subjects. Stranger fictions like this are something of my speciality. 
I should warn you, the people of this town are backward and superstitious. They'll think you're a sorcerer. I'll be fine. No need to worry. Big finish. We love stories. Oh, for my sonic screwdriver. That was the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on Spotify, iTunes, Acast, Stitcher and wherever good podcasts are found. Get early access to content by subscribing to the Tin Dog Podcast YouTube channel. You can support the show at patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on Twitter at Tin Dog Podcast or email tin hyphen dog at hotmail.co.uk. All of the things discussed are the intellectual property of others. No infringement is intended. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.